Time to do the jiu-jitsu. Guys, thank you so much for training. We really appreciate you coming out and spending your Wednesday night with us. Remember that we're going over some pretty, uh, some pretty long flow at this point, right? So if you haven't been in class, no worries. We'll be able to pick it up right away. But uh, it's going to be kind of a big bite right from the beginning. We'll go a little warm. I like to do some jujitsu movements to warm up. So we'll get into the flow with our partner, and then we'll finish with that back attack series. All right? Thank you guys so much for training. We'll bow in. And let's start on the floor, guys. Let's warm up a little bit. There we go. You have to excuse our pups. They find this jiu-jitsu stuff very interesting. All right, so we'll start off triangles. Rocking our hips, shooting the triangle. I got a clock on here. We're going to go for 30 seconds. Not meant to be fast, just trying to warm up. Let's hit that triangle on both sides, guys. Ready? And triangles, work time. Oh, good. Okay, that's good. Right through your test. <laughs> All right. Nice. Nothing fast. Just picking up those hips. Let's warm up that back. Nice. Oh, no, we're just going to go up the time. And two more reps, one on each side. Hey, no. Hey, good work, my friends. Let's switch to the Kimura sit-ups. We'll start on our right elbow, our left foot posted. My left hand's on my right wrist watch. Remember, we pick up our hips just a bit at the end. Then we'll roll across our shoulders and switch sides. Left elbow down, right foot in the floor. Pick up those hips. And work time. Kimura sit up, side to side. Perfect. If you're with a partner, make sure you don't headbutt them. If you're on the carpet, go really slow. Let's not hurt our elbows on the floor. Perfect. Nice. All right, my friends. Shrimping. Shrimping, lay it down. There we go. Just in place, we're gonna shrimp out. Shrimp back in, going on both sides. Work time. Remember, don't hit by your partner. Don't hit your partner in the face. They might not come back. Perfect. 10 more seconds. One more on each side. And time. Nice work, my friends. Whew, we'll catch our breath for a second. If you have a partner, the lowest ranked partner will lay down first, right? They'll be the Uki. If you got a stuffy Steve, go ahead and lay them down. We'll get started. Remember, we're going to go through our flow that starts with our Toriando pass, our hop over to the other side. Knee on belly, knee on belly around the world, and our bar, right? So we're going to put it all together tonight, right from the very beginning. We'll go really slow. Junior student, go ahead and lay down. Senior student, stand up, and you'll work through the technique with me. Perfect. All right, so it will start in the Toriando position. If you got a partner, you're ready to go, just like in class. If you're using stuffy Steve, we'll just grip the pants. Maybe you just have a pillow and a gi, hands right on the hips, right on the end of the pillow, right? We're gonna disconnect, shuffle to the right. Here comes our Toriando, my right knee down. I push the legs out of the way, my right shoulder down. From here, we're not gonna secure. Remember, if you got stuffy Steve, you're just gonna move your head to the same side as your knees. If you have a partner, they're gonna to wanna to get rid of your head so they can hip out and escape. Remember that our forehead posts, the right hand right next to my ear is gonna post, and my left hand is gonna hug because we're gonna hop over the legs. Side control on the other side. 
Perfect. Now from here, let's get to knee on belly. Collar grip right under the neck. Four fingers on the floor so we can post with it. Hip grip, elbow close. Hop up to knee on belly. Perfect. Now, remember your partner may be new to jiu-jitsu. So let's get a hand right here to help him not quite get smooshed under all that knee on belly pressure. From here, if you have a dummy, you're just gonna spin the world. If you have a partner, they get to practice a little escape. They wanna get that pressure off. Notice how Beth has to get on her side though to get rid of me, which means when I push the head down, I can bring this leg right behind the shoulder and trap her on her side. I don't expect to keep her here. She just has to stay here long enough for us to back step, end up on knee on belly on the other side. Perfect. All right, let's attack our arm bar. I open the lapel on the near side. And now I'm gonna go four fingers in, cross grip, setting up the choke. My partner has to respect the choke. Maybe you got stuffy Steve, you just bring his hand up to help him respect the choke. We're gonna get that near side sleeve control, pull it to the ceiling. Very nice. We're gonna take that knee on belly leg, and we're gonna kick him right in the armpit. Bring that foot up right underneath the armpit. And now we're going to start walking that right leg over the head. Now, have your partner grab their hands. So when you sit down, you don't accidentally armbar them too hard, right? I don't want to fall down into the armbar. But they're not really defending yet. They're just keeping their elbows safe. We're going to finish the arm lock. We're going to pull the arm out. We're going to scoop it with our right hand. So even if they keep their hands together, just scoop with that right arm. I grab my own gi, I grab my partner's leg on the same side, and I fall back on the armbar. Remember, pinch the knees. You're gonna hit in really slow, finish. My partner and I will switch bottom to top. So if you got stuffy Steve, just reset. It's your partner's turn. I'm gonna talk through this one as well, okay guys? So let's watch the screen if you get lost. First, Toriando pass. From the pass, you're going to bring your head to the same side of your legs and hop over. Just trying to get ahead of the regard, right? Now, when I turn to face, Beth's going to secure side control, and then she's going to get the knee on belly grips. Collar grip, waist grip, knee on belly. From here, I'm going to start to escape. If he's got a stuffy Steve, she's just going to spin the world right away. Got a partner, let him push the knee off. Get on their side. Step over their head, knee on belly on the other side. Now from here, Beth's going to open the collar, the near side, put in that cross grip, four fingers in. I'm very afraid of the choke, so I'm going to defend. That's how she exposes the near side arm. She kicks into the armpit. She lets me connect my hands so when she sits down, she doesn't accidentally pop my elbow. And now she's ready to go. She hooks the leg. Lays down on her right side, pinches her knees, finishes the arm lock. And then we'll switch, bottom to top. All right, so we're gonna go one for one today, unless you have a Stuffy Steve. Stuffy Steve gets you to have all the reps, right? If you have questions, please let me hear them meow, because I'm gonna turn on the clock. Beth's gonna run through the reps, and I'm gonna watch as you go. All right, my friends, everybody feel good with the flow? Perfect. All right, take a break. Look at me for a second. On three, one, two. Hey, there we go. Work time. Work time. You'll be able to see Beth going. And from her chain, I'll just be calling it all out loud, right? So it goes Toriando pass. From the Toriando pass, we're going to hop over to the other side, bring our head to the floor. Post our hands, hop. Now from here, I secure the side control, set up my knee on belly. Nice, from the knee on belly, I'm gonna spin the world. I'm gonna get to knee on belly on the other side. And then we're gonna open up that near side collar, threaten the choke. They have to defend, and when they do, we grab that near side arm, pull it up to our belly, and we're ready to start attacking the arm lock. Well, you can keep going, hold up. One for one, one for one. Perfect. Very nice.
Nice work, Thomas. Your dog approves, buddy. Giving you those good looks. He likes that technique. Very nice. There we go, Coach Andrew. Don't smush him, buddy. Let him live. Let the youngin live. That neon belly, though. Very nice, Quan. Really nice extension, man. Really pulling up on that arm. Perfect. Hey, a couple more minutes, my friends. Let's keep working this flow. Nice, Cody. Super smooth. Now we start to attack the choke. Fong's got to defend, right? That will allow us to get near side sleep control and we'll rip that arm to the ceiling. As long as her arm's straight, she won't be able to stop us from kicking her in the armpit with our left leg. Yes, bringing our right leg over the head. Now let's let her connect her hands so we don't fall back on that arm bar too hard. We'll sit back, arm bar city. Very nice. There you go, Whitney. Yes, good arm extension. Make sure we don't hurt our arm, we'll lay back. Perfect. Very nice. How's it feel, Melissa? Thumbs up, it feels good? Perfect, perfect, very nice, my friend. Hey, there we go, Sam. Pinch those knees, keep them tight for me. Perfect. Nice work, Celeste. Ooh, I hope I said that name right. Very nice technique. Perfect. Ooh, you got one more minute. One more minute. I need everybody to get at least one more time through the flow. So finish yours, let your partner get theirs. Nice, Thomas. There we go, Braden. Let me see, buddy. Knee on belly. Pinch the knees. Armbar City. Very nice, Braden. Hey, there we go, Maddie. I like that ghee dummy. Very nice. Fancy. Whew. All right, has your partner got their turn? Once you've both got it, we'll take a break. Fix our geese, have a seat. Very nice. Good work. Thumbs up, Ben. How'd that feel? It feel good? Awesome. Awesome. Man, very nice, my friends. We'll let these last few finish up and we'll check out this next technique. Now, this, this whole time we've been in these Zoom classes, we've been working on finishing the back. We've started adding in maintaining the back, okay? So let's review what we worked on Monday where our partner is sliding off our bottom hook. And then, to, and then afterwards, I wanna look at an even more advanced back escape where they slide off of our, our underhook side, okay? Which is kind of my preferred side to escape. So I'm gonna show you the kryptonite to what I like to do, okay, my friends? Now let's see, we got a little chat here. I'm sure Jordan will be able to help us with this. Uh, knee on belly, yeah, yeah. So pro tip there, we're being nice to our partner so we don't want to smush them too bad. But when I attack this near side arm bar, that foot that's going into the armpit, that leg is driving our shin directly into the armpit, which means uh, it's gonna come off a little bit more uh, firm when I'm doing it uh, to someone that I'm trying to attack the arm on, right? So when I'm drilling, I'm staying kind of soft here. I don't want to hurt their elbow. I don't want to hurt their ribs. When I'm actually attacking the technique, I'm going to have to drive that wedge in there pretty tight to make sure they don't get that elbow down. Does it make sense, Ben? Perfect, perfect. All right, so let's look at these back attacks. Got the best spooky in the game. Thank you very much, Purple Bell. Now, Let's hop on our partner's back. Upper belt, you go ahead and take the first rep. Perfect. Now remember, we're playing the seat belt in a kind of an advanced way, a very gi specific style. We're gonna take that arm that's over the shoulder. We're gonna take our thumb, we're gonna make a fist, and we'll put that right in their chest. And a little accordion thump for them, right? A little no. Now look guys, your other hand. 
it's going to hide your top wrist. Now, the idea here is that this isn't just hanging out. Okay, if this is loose at all, Beth is gone. She won't wait for you to get on the side. She's already escaping. Instead, I want to take that fist that's in the chest. I want to start pulling it to my face to where my partner can feel I'm starting to stretch them out a bit. They feel a little pressure under their chin because of my two hands, which usually gets them to slide that chin off to one side or the other, which is uh, going to dictate a little bit later on, and we'll talk about that in the future. Now, right now, though, we need to go get that scoop of mac and cheese. I need you to take that thumb that's in the chest, start stirring it up a little bit until you find the lapel. So I have my top hand off so you can see, but the idea here is that this is all gonna happen incognito, right? We're gonna keep this right hand hunting the lapel grip underneath the left hand. So my partner doesn't get to defend, right? We've all been here. Our partner grabs their own lapels, trying not to let you get onto their neck, right? But that's okay, we don't need where she has, we just want the grip that's directly under our left hand, right? Now, so you see my right hand, I'm gripped up, my left hand's gonna stay on. I'm gonna try to bring my partner to the choking side. I know that she's going to try to escape. The most common escape here, guys, is for her to step off that bottom hook, right? In this position, I don't wanna stay here, it's dangerous, it's hard for me to keep it's very likely that she's gonna latch onto this leg. And when I start to come up, she ends up in half guard or deep half, right? So we'll reset. Stay where you are, I'll come back for you. We're in the back now. Fist to the chest, thumb stirs until it finds the lapel grip. Pull your hands to your face, fall to the choking side. Our partner's gonna hop off our bottom hook I'm gonna take my top hook out. Now, when we first learned this, a lot of times we learned it as hooking under the knee. I like this, but it doesn't really move her hips, especially if she's a lot stronger than I am. I'm gonna need a little more leverage. I gotta get my right hook out of here, out from underneath. So my left leg is gonna come out, my top hook's gonna come out, and my knee is gonna rotate. I'm gonna turn it all the way to the floor so I can get up under my partner's hips. Now with this pressure underneath her hips, maybe it's enough to push her off, or maybe it's enough just to keep her where she is so I can pull my right knee out and go belly down. There we go, there we go. Now with my belly down, I'm gonna to start to come back up. Notice we never let go of the grips. My chin's only so high because so, you can hear me talk. Really, I'd be down here. And now we're gonna use our feet and my right elbow, my elbow that's underneath best neck, that's gonna be the post. I'm gonna drive my weight onto that post. My back leg, our bottom hook, our right knee is gonna slide knee to elbow, right behind my partner's back. My top hook will step over the top, and now I'm right back into my back attack. Now let's talk about that detail for Monday. Your right elbow, it's gotta get off the floor. If it stays on the floor, look how far away Beth is from me. She slides away. My right elbow's got to hit my hip. Like I'm pulling her into my lap. From here, it's very easy to switch to my left hip. Man, we're ready to go. Let's attack that first choke. Remember, you kept this right hand grip the whole time, which means that you get to immediately transition to the choke. My right hand. It's gonna start walking up the lapel underneath my left hand. So if she was defending here, she had this top arm, she can pull down it all she wants. My right hand still makes it to the top of the neck. My free hand is gonna go get the far lapel wherever I can reach. Now the advantage of choking on the bottom side or the underhook side is that my top leg can help me. So when she goes up here to fight the lapels, I bring my leg out and step on her elbow. Kicking this foot out, I like to cross my ankles, and now we're right back into the same choke. Extend my arms, finish. We'll let go, we'll switch bottom to top, it'll be my partner's turn. All right, so junior belt, hop on. It's your turn. All right, first, notice how Beth gets her harness grip. She gets her right hand over my shoulder, it grabs the lapel, and then her left hand is on top of that right wrist. 
Now from here, she's kind of pinching my face. She's gonna bring me to the choking side. So everybody fall to the right for me. Perfect. Now this senior student, you're gonna escape a bit. You're gonna jump off this bottom hook because you're trying to leave. But look, we're gonna reset, junior belt. Slow down. Your top leg is gonna go knee to butt. And you're gonna push. Slow down, please. Sprawl down. Until you can sprawl out. And now from the sprawl, you're gonna drive your weight onto your right elbow, your elbow under the neck, and bring your right knee to that right elbow. You're gonna step over with your left leg. Now that's gonna bring her right elbow to her hip. This is gonna allow her to bring me to her hip and then to her left side. Never letting me escape or slide off the chair sit. From here, she goes right into her choke, cross lapels. Once she starts attacking, I'm probably gonna come defend. But because of the way our legs are set with our bottom hook over the waist, it's really easy for her to bring this top leg over, kick us in the wrist, and attack the legs. Now, I prefer that she cross her ankles here, or at least pinch into the wrist, because if they're out here, I'm just gonna roll away. She's got a clamp. Now, again, another trick for our smaller legs, we can bring that leg behind the back, treating it like a crucifix position. And now she's ready to go. Extend the hands, finish. All right, so, I'm gonna run a couple reps with Beth, and then I'm gonna hop on and check out everyone else's technique, okay? So does anybody have any questions before we get started? Raise a hand, raise a hand. Everybody feel good? Questions, questions, questions? All right, you guys ready? Okay, here we go. Let's clap it out on three, one, two. Very nice. Grab that partner. Senior student, you're going first. Hop on to the back. a little bit. We get our harness grip. My right hand grabs the lapel. My left hand hides my right wrist. I fall to the right side. My partner is going to slide off the bottom hook. So we're going to take our top hook out. I don't care that she's leaving as long as I keep my harness grip. Bring my knee behind the butt. Flop her off my bottom hook like I'm sprawling out and I'm keeping my chin in her shoulder. I'm bringing my weight to my right elbow so she stays on her side. And now I'll walk my right knee to my elbow. My left leg will step over. And I'll bring my partner up into my lap because of my right elbow that's in my hip. From here, I'll fall to my left side. My left leg's already across her belly, so it's pretty hard for her to leave. And I'm going to attack the choke immediately. Right hand slides high. Left hand finds the cross lapel. I might even use my right foot to hook the arm, cross my ankles, finish. Bottom to top, your partner's turn. Perfect. All right, here we go. She gets her seat belt first. Her right hand grabs the collar, her left hand grabs her wrist. She falls to the right side. Perfect. Now from here, I'm going to escape. I'm going to slide off best bottom hook. So she's going to take her top hook out and go knee behind my hips and push me off that bottom hook. She's going to slide her weight onto her right elbow, her right knee to her right elbow, her left leg over, and now her right elbow in her hip socket. Because she's going to fall to her left side, pulling me back onto the back. Right hand threads high, left hand goes to cross the lapel, legs going to hook over the top, and now here we go, ready to finish. Perfect. All right, bottom to top. Keep going. I'm going to be watching. Let me help a little bit. Perfect. Let me see. Uh-oh. Looks like Helen Steve died. Poor Corona. Dummy. Fix your dummy. Perfect. Thomas is going well. There we go. Good seat belt. We know that they're going to try to slide off, so we bump the hips, sprawl onto that right hip. Yes. Right elbow post, right knee to elbow. Throw the leg over. Very nice reset to the back, Thomas. Good work. Hey, there we go, Fong. Cody's going to start walking off our right leg. Perfect. So we're going to bring our left leg behind, bump and sprawl. 
walk back up to that knee to elbow, left leg over, knee to hip, or knee to hip, elbow to hip. Very nice, Fong. Go ahead and choke Cody out. Let him know what's up. There we go. Nice arm trap. Very slick. Ooh, good work, youngin. Fall into the left side. Yes. Start attacking our grips. When we feel dad trying to fight the hands, bring that right leg up and trap that arm. Yes. Now we'll finish. Choke City. Good work. How's it feel, Sam? Thumbs up. It feels good, buddy. Perfect. Perfect. Nice, Cole. Feels good? Thumbs up, you feel good, Cole? Very nice. <laughs> so Brad and Jesse are combined into the superpower Bressy or Jab. Very nice. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, reset the chair sit, Jesse. Bring the elbow to the hip so Brad can't slide away. Now we're ready to start attacking the choke. Guys, if you remember the triangle that we've been working since last week, more than welcome to add that into this. Attack your choke, switch to the triangle from the back. If you don't remember what that is, no worries. Finish the choke first. Nice bend, good bump, yes. Reset the chair sit. Very nice, Ben. Hey, arms trapped. Choke City. Let's see. Let me get to this other page. Here we go. Nice, Braden. Stepping over, sitting to the other side. Very nice, Braden. Trap the arm. Finish our choke. Hey, good finish, my friend. Nice, big bump, big bump, coming on top. Good work. Stepping over. Hey, very nice chair sit. Make sure we're getting that elbow to our hip bone before we sit back on the chair sit, my friends. I want to actively pull their neck into my lap as I switch to my left side. I don't let them slide over that knee that's behind their back. I make them come with me to the left. Very nice, youngin'. Very nice arm traps, my friends. Super advanced. Non-choking grips. Mm, yeah, so the non-choking grip. So my hand that's over my own wrist, right, Ben? Yeah, yeah. That one's going to be uh, – it's going to be on the wrist the whole time until I decide to go for the choke. So I like to keep it here like as an insurance policy. No matter where my partner goes, I can stay glued to them because of the harness. And then when I decide to choke, it, my left hand stays on the wrist until my right hand gets higher. And as it climbs up, yeah, exactly, it will thread up. And then my left hand will fall right to the lapel that's underneath my right wrist. Does that make sense? Perfect. There we go. A couple more reps. One more each, and then we're going to get into the next technique. Perfect. Very nice. There we go. Your partner's turn. Nice job, Mom. You're doing great, Heather. Good work. Yeah, yeah, you're doing great. Be nice, Cole. Hey, very nice, Maddie. Good reset. You might hook that right leg over the top if we need to trap their arm, but you know, it's extra credit. Yes. Perfect. Hey, good work, my friends. Let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. Let's get a little fancy. Okay. I want to get a little fancy. I want to keep the same escape when they fall off our bottom hook on our choking side. And then I want to talk about when they fall off our bottom hook on our underhook side. Okay. So let's, let's stay with the same flow. You can watch the first rep and then we'll talk through the next rep, senior student going first. All right. So everything's the same to start. We're on the back. 
We hit them in the thumb to the chest, scoop up the lapel, and we keep it hidden under our left grip. We fall to the choking side. My partner walks off the bottom hook, so I knee him in the hips, pull my bottom hook out, reset to the chair, and now we'll fall to this underhook side. Now, something you'll notice on the underhook side, my favorite side to escape is the underhook side. Because uh, I like to, even with this latest across the belly, I'll start, uh, if I was Beth, I'll start walking to the right. See how my hook's starting to fall off her belly a little bit? And now she's gonna start walking to the left again, but she's gonna step over my hook. Now this position kind of sucks. Because it's really hard for me to come up into the chair sit, right? It's not on the choking side. So when I try to post my left elbow, I can't really get there. I can't get it out from underneath her. So we'll reset a little bit. When I feel, I'm gonna bring it this way. When I feel my partner trying to walk off the bottom hook on the underhook side, my right leg has to help me. Instead of bringing my right leg out, I'm gonna bring my right leg in. I'm gonna put it right between her legs. And now she's gonna walk off the bottom hook and I'm going to bridge. The worst thing I can do here is hang out. I don't want to wait. If I let her get her back to the mat, it's too late. I won't be able to come back into a dominant position. Instead, I'm going to take my left foot and I'm going to bridge onto my left shoulder. Like I'm trying to put my head on the floor here in my butt in the air. Now notice when I do that, my left leg, it's the pose to help me come up, and then it's going to shoot to the ceiling because I'm going to bring my left leg right behind my partner's back like a big wedge here. And now with the wedge, I'm going to lay back down. Notice how my wedge rolls my partner's hips off the mat, and I'm able to bring her to the other side. And now we're right back onto our choking side. We're gonna go straight to work. You can put in your hooks if you like. You're gonna walk your right hand up the choke, your left hand to the far side of the belt, and finish by extending our arms and really trying to pull this right hand behind the head. So it's not just an extension of the tricep, twist in the choke. Nice, right, so let's try it again. See you soon in your first. Perfect. Now, I'm going to show just a little bit variation of where our top hook goes, but nothing that's any different from what we just worked on. First, let's hit the first escape and back recovery. Harness grip, right hand has the lapel, fall to the choking side. Our partner's going to walk off our bottom hook, so we take our top hook out, knee to butt, bump, pull off, sprawl. Post that right elbow, walk your right knee to your elbow, step your left leg over, right elbow to hip, fall to the underhook side. Now here's where our partner is gonna start walking off the underhook side. When I feel this, the first rep I showed, our top hook goes between the legs, it also can go over the legs. I'm okay with either one. Just depends on you, your body type, as well as your partner's size. Now from here, my bottom hook. So that's going to walk off the bottom hook. There you go. And now we're going to bridge. So don't lay on our side. Put your head down. Push your chest into your partner's back. Get them more up on their side like you're going to make them go belly down. Bring that left knee nice and high. Right behind the back. And fall over to the other side. Roll them back to the choking side. Right back to work to our choke. Two lapel grips, extend our hands, finish. Nice. All right, bottom to top, bottom to top, other person's turn. I told you he's gonna get fancy. It's a tough technique, uh, but it is, it is by far the most common escape you'll see at the upper belt levels, right? They know you want the underhook side, they're comfortable with escaping from them. So we've got to have a way to reset the back control when they slide off the hooks on our underhook side. First, let's escape to the choking side. 
They bring us to the right. We walk off the bottom hook. They bump us in the butt. Post their elbow, knee to elbow. Reset to the chair, onto the back. All right, now, everybody should be on the left side, AKA your underhook side. From here, I'm gonna walk off this bottom hook. So maybe I don't know jiu-jitsu too well yet. Help your partner, let them just get over this bottom leg. There we go. Now from here, Beth is either gonna put her leg between mine or around my belly. And then from here, she's gonna start bringing her bottom hook out from under. And now she's gonna put her toes in the mat with her left foot and start to bridge up onto her left shoulder. See how that's starting to bring me onto my side? And now you see her left leg as high as she can at my back, she puts it right underneath me. So when she falls back down to the right side, I roll over her left knee like a speed bump and it puts me back on the choking side. You know this choke, two lapels. Finish. And we'll switch bottom to top. All right, my friends? So give me a look on the camera before you get started. You're gonna practice the choke, or the choke, you're gonna practice the recovery on both sides. So you get your harness grip, your partner will fall off on the choking side, you'll reset. Chair sit to the underhook side, they'll escape the bottom hook on that side. Here's where you do your bridge, knee as the wedge under the back, roll them back to the choking side. Everybody feel good with that? Questions? Nice, Mike's hitting us with the flex, he's ready. He feels good, there it is. All right, my friends, let's count it out on three. One, two, very nice. Get to work, get to work. One for one, I need both escapes. Now, if your partner is significantly bigger than you, it may be a little tough, but you notice that Beth could do it to me, so I got mad faith you guys can do it to anybody you're working with. Perfect. Your dummy is gonna be super easy to use in this drill, guys. It's almost even easier because it's a little lighter. We bump them off. They slide off on that underhook side. Very nice high knee, Cody, right behind the back. Yes. Very nice, Cody. Swings us back to the other side. Once we've reset to the choking side, let's finish. There you go, young and Jason's doing, yeah, dad's not that big. There we go. There we go, dad. <laughs> nice work, nice work. Hey. There we go, Pesovich family. Very nice technique. I like it. Swinging into the back mount. All right, Braden, good work, buddy. Roll them to the other side. Notice how because we have that harness grip with the lapel, we're so reinforced on the upper body, it doesn't matter where their lower body goes. We'll constantly be able to recycle the position, put ourselves back on the back. Very nice. Hey, there we go, Quan. Perfect, little bridge, wedge behind the back, sit back down, right back to the attacks. Very nice, very nice. One for one, guys, make sure everyone's getting their reps. If you got a stuffy partner, that's fantastic. You get double reps. Perfect. Very nice, Thomas. Yep, little bump. Perfect, stepping over. Swing them back, yes. Tries to hop off. It's okay, we're gonna bridge. Yes, throw that right leg over the belly. A hey, left knee in the back, wedge them back to the other side. Very nice, they can't get rid of us. We're harnessed up, we're on them like a tick. Don't let go of the upper body. Doesn't matter where their lower body goes. Just gotta keep our flow working. Yes, very nice reset. Hey, nice work, Matt. Now here comes Whitney, she's gonna try to walk off the bottom hook. Perfect, we're gonna throw the right leg over, left knee high in the back as a wedge. Rotate the rotisserie chicken back to the other side, back to the back attack. Good work, good work. Everybody get one more rep, one more rep, and we're gonna do just a couple reps of the whole flow and we'll be done. Perfect, perfect reset. Nice, Ben. Yes. 
We feel our partner trying to slide off. No worries. We bridge, bring the wedge high behind the back. Sit back down. Perfect. Right onto the choke. Very nice. Can't get rid of us. Nice, Celeste. Yes. Now here comes that big bridge. Yay. Left knee high in the back. Rotate. Right back to the back. Very nice technique. How you feeling, Thomas? Thumbs up. You feel good? Kind of. <laughs> I feel you, man. I feel you. There we go. Big bridge. Big bridge. Yes. Very nice. All right, my friends. So bring it in. I want to do the whole flow, right? The whole class right now, one chain. We'll go one for one so everybody gets lots of reps, okay? Not a ton of time, but you already know everything. We're just going to piece it all together now, okay? So it'll start. Go ahead and do it with me. Junior student, lay down. Senior student, stand up. Starts as a Toriando pass. You know this part really well. Pass to the right. Long dark. Our partner's going to push our head to the same side. So we pick up our hips and walk over. Hop into the other side. Once we're here, we'll go knee on belly grips. Knee on belly. Our partner escapes, so we go around the world. Knee on belly on the other side. Very nice. Open up that near side of the belt. Start hunting the choke. They're going to defend, so we get that near side sleeve. Pull that hand up. Here comes that big kick in the armpit. Be nice to your partner. Walk our right leg over the head. Let them connect their hands so we don't hurt their arm. Sitting down on the arm bar. Now, here we go. Here's the part that's a little tricky, okay? You're gonna take that left leg out and throw it over the back. Don't listen. Over the ribs. There we go, over the ribs. So your classic arm bar position. Notice you haven't let go of the lapel with your left hand yet. That was on purpose. Your right hand, I'm gonna move my right leg so you can see your right hand is gonna go two grips on that same side of the lapel. You're gonna do that between your legs. So when you take your right leg off and fall to the left side, you're gonna be able to pull them up and take their back. Now let's sit up after the back take. Perfect. Catch your harness, stir the mac and cheese till you catch your lapel grip and fall to the choking side. Your partner's gonna fall off the bottom hook. We take our top hook out, bump them in the butt, sprawl, get to our elbow, slide our knee nice and high, reset the chair sit. That should put us on the underhook side. Now here comes my partner trying to escape. They're gonna walk off the bottom hook. We're gonna take our top hook and throw it over. Here comes our big bridge. Bring our knee nice and high behind the back. We'll sit down and rotate. We're back on the choking side. Let's finish with our choke. Double lapels. Now it'll be my partner's turn. Bottom to top. Bottom to top. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Toriando. From the Toriando, hop sides. From the side control, neon belly. From neon belly around the world. Knee on belly on the other side. Let's go for the choke. When they defend, set up the arm bar. Sit down on the arm lock. Don't let go of the lapel yet. Take your right leg out. Throw it across the chest. Get two lapel grips. Two lapel grips. There we go. Take your top leg off the face. Lay back. Pull them into the back mount. Once you're there, sit up on that back mount so we can all go from the same position. They're on the choking side, we fall to the right. I'm gonna walk off the bottom hook. Best gonna bump me, sprawl, come up to the chair stick, and bring us into the back mount on the underhook side. Okay, we're still going, keep your grips. We're gonna walk off the bottom underhook. So your top hook comes over the belly. You're gonna sprawl, you're gonna bridge up onto your neck. Throw your left hook high in the back. And rotate them over to the other side. Time to finish. Set your grips. Both locales extend your arms. Choke City. One for one. Let's go. Keep going. Keep going. The whole flow. 
give me two minutes here. That's probably going to be about two reps each. One for one, one for one. Toriando, hopping sides. Perfect. From the side control, knee on belly. Nice. Knee on belly, spin the world. Knee on belly on the other side. Very nice. Set up the choke. They got to defend, so we'll arm bar. Kick him in the armpit. Throw the leg over the face. Now, bring that left leg over the chest for that classic arm bar position. Perfect. Take both hands to the lapel. lapel take the leg off the head. Pull him up. Take the back. Nice. Now, from here, let's start sat up so we can practice. We're going to go harness grip, fall to the choking side. They walk off the bottom hook. Bump them in the butt. Reset your chair. Reset your chair. Sit. Very nice. Bring them back. Now they're on the underhook side. They're going to walk off the bottom hook. Take that top hook. Bring it over the belly or between the legs. Bridge onto your neck. Your back knee is going to go high up their back like a wedge laying down. And bring them over. Perfect. Right back to the choking side. Let's finish. Two hands on the lapels. Choke city. Very nice. Keep going. Other person's turn. Ooh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Very nice. Toriando, hopping sides. Knee on belly. Spin the world. Arm bar. Bring both legs out for the arm bar. So you can go two hands on the lapel. Take your leg off the face. Pull them up. Swing behind their back. Sit up in that back control for me. Nice, youngin. Here we go. You get your harness grip. They start to slide off the choking side, the first hook. So we reset for the chair sit. Very nice. From the chair sit, bring them back to the back on the underhook side. Nice, nice. They slide off the bottom hook. Here's where we get fancy. Bridge onto your side. Bring that knee behind their back as high as you can. Big wedge. Roll them over it like a speed bump. Bring them back to the choking side. Nice. Choking side, finish. There we go. One more each. One more each. Oh. <laughs> nice, young in. Yes, bring that left knee high up in the back. There we go. We're going to roll dad, dad back to the right. Flip him over. Yes, choke city, young in. Choke city. Both hooks. Yes. Nice. Very nice, Brayden. Perfect. Good work, Maddie. Nice arm bar. Now we'll lay back, pull him into the back mount. Perfect. We'll sit up just to practice falling to the choking side. Perfect. We'll bump him over. Very nice, Cody. Nice, young in. Yep, all the way to the neon belly on the other side. Dad's going to try to escape, but that's okay because we're going to go for the choke. Yeah, yeah, show him that choke. Perfect. Finish, finish, hunt the finish. Whew, look at all that jiu-jitsu, my friends. Nice job. Super smooth tonight. Good work, my friends. We'll fix our geese. We'll thank our partners, and we'll line up. I'm going to... Move my camera real quick. Perfect. Nice. All right, my friends. We will get you guys. Uh, I'm going to mute everybody in a second. Let's bow out first. Try to scoot back a bit. There we go. Guys, thank you so much for training. Uh, that by far, like uh, my number one A game when I'm on the back. I uh, don't try to finish right away. For sure that there's an opportunity, take it. But oftentimes I have to accommodate my partner being really skilled and they're gonna try to escape some. I gotta be willing to manage the position before I'm able to finish from the position. And sometimes that takes just being honest, right? Jiu-Jitsu deals only in reality, man. Like It doesn't matter how good you think you are or whether you should be able to choke this person or you can't because they're an upper belt. Nah, let's be honest. What's happening right now in the moment that's what's dictating, that's what's dictating where we go next, right? So kind of my challenge for you, like on the mats, be honest. Are you really in a position to finish the choke? 
Are you really in a position to stay fighting where you are? Is it time to move on and approach attack from somewhere else? And I think that for me personally, like really practicing on being as real with myself as I can be, as honest as I can be with myself in jiu-jitsu, it starts to bleed out into everything else to where sometimes life is really stressful as, you know, as like right now. If I'm being honest, if I'm going to be real with myself, then I can say, oh, you know, today I'm kind of struggling. Today's kind of hard. I want to use my words. I want to communicate that to the people in my support network so they know how I really feel because I'm not helping them or myself if I'm dishonest about it, right? The same way in jiu-jitsu. If you're not being honest with yourself about where you are in that back now, you're not going to finish the choke. It doesn't matter that it's almost there. It's either there or it's not, right? Some days are harder than others. Be honest about it with yourself. And I think that the more I got comfortable being honest in jiu-jitsu, the easier it got for me to be honest with myself off the mat, right? So something to think about as we go through these days, how do you really feel? And are you being honest when someone asks, right? Can you be your true self even when it's, uh, it's a little uncomfortable, right? The thing that I love the most about Easton's, this family loves you regardless, right? They want to see the honest you. They want to be there for you. Let us help each other, right? I tell them all the time, let me love you, right? Let you love yourself. Let you love, let the community love you. Thank you guys so much for training. You know we got jiu-jitsu all this week, Muay Thai 2, kids and adults. Check out our schedule at eastonbjj.com. If you click a little schedule link, it will show you our current schedule with all our online classes, right? All the information is there. You see a hub as well that has auxiliary classes, private trainings that are becoming available. Please check us out online, guys. If you have any questions, you guys have all my contact info. I'm going to turn the mics off or on so I can chit-chat with everybody. Thank you guys for training. Let's bow out. Hey, you can wear a purple belt. Both the same the shoulder goes through. Nice job, my friends. Thank you.